free to all job seekers. All new at 11 tonight, they are crocheting for a cause in Cheektowaga. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paulo Suro reports, these volunteers are turning old plastic bags into a basic necessity for the homeless. I got a couple of pairs of scissors. Cutting, flattening. It's no easy task turning these old plastic bags into sleep mats for the homeless. But that's the mission of this group, Buffalo's Good Neighbors. I have goosebumps already. This is the best thing that could have taken over my life. It's Gail Potter's new passion. Can you just keep going? She taught herself to crochet plastic yarn or plarn through YouTube videos and is now teaching the rest of the group at the Julia Boyer Reinstein Library in Cheektowaga. We feel like we have a need to do something and um, they've joined me, they've come on board um, and it's just time to give back to the community. This unfinished sleeping mat, which is approximately three and a half feet long, took eight hours to make. Let me tell you, it really isn't as easy as it seems. It takes many hands and more than 700 plastic bags to work on just one mat. They're crocheting plastic because that way the thick mat can survive rainy days and harsh winters. If we were to do these out of old t-shirts or something like that, then they wouldn't be able to dry them and then they would use them maybe once or twice and not be able to use them again. The group already brings meals to the homeless in Fireman's Park every Sunday, but craved another way to help them during the cold months. We spend a lot of time with the homeless through the winter, and they do tell us their story and where they sleep. Um, sometimes there isn't anywhere to sleep. You pull up and you just see the need. The, like I said, it is. It's desperation. Their end goal? To have as many three by six foot mats as possible, attached to a carrier strap and a tie to roll it up. Tuesday night was the group's first meeting. We'll have all their future meeting dates and their contact information on WKBW.com. In Chictawaga, Paula Soros, 7 Eyewitness News.